index coverage excluded by no index tag. In this video session, we're going to see what excluded by no index tag means. Example URLs, let's press on one of them. We can go and use Fetch and Google. When we do, let me bring up the screen so you see. So you can fetch and rent, that's actually a smart option, and press on the URL in question and further analyze it. Press on fetching. Here, keep an eye out for no index directive because no index directive can be served through PHP as well. Search Console index coverage excluded by no index actually makes perfect sense because if we have submitted a particular sitemap that contains a URL and then that URL serves no index directive, then it doesn't make sense. As in, we're saying here's the map of our site to Search Console, as in Google, and then for a particular URL, we're then turning around and saying, well, don't index that URL. Makes sense? So that one makes sense. That's why excluded by no index tag means. Usually, this occurs because of the sitemaps you're submitting to Search Console by using plugins. Always check the sitemap you've currently submitted and make sure it does not contain any URLs that is also serving no index tag. Now, if you're using popular plugins like Yoast and so on, in your Search Console sitemaps, if you've submitted the parent sitemap, because sitemaps can be can have parent-child relationships. In this example, we're seeing the parent sitemap. Or if you're running an e-commerce site, your sitemap can be broken up to different parts as a sitemap one, sitemap two. Let's say you have 20,000 different URLs. Then you'll definitely have different sitemaps. And then most people just submit the parent sitemap, which is actually okay. But content management systems like WordPress, you know, tags or data archives may also serve no index tag if you end up using popular plugins like Yoast or all in one SEO plugin. If you're using a different content management system and using a sitemap plugin, then the plugin may generate no index directives. So you have two options. Either remove the URL from the sitemap or remove the no index tag. For best practice, do not serve both of them. Always triple check all known pages first to see, okay, you know what? Am I aware of these URLs? Because in some of the examples, so I can press on rows per page and we can see here it's paginated content, even search query on a particular WordPress site. So then these are excluded because this URL and the contents within it shouldn't actually be in Google anyway because it's just a search function. There is nothing unique here. For that reason, I'm serving no index directives and Google is seeing that. And then, now how does Google pick these up? Because if your sitemap has correct URLs and those URLs do not serve no index, and then when you're looking at index coverage report, excluded by no index tag, and then you're seeing these URLs and scratching your head thinking, well, how in the world does Google pick these up? It does that because it's highly efficient search engine and it follows all the links throughout your entire website. And some of these links may point to perhaps search results page and so on. If that's the case, that's how Google picking these up. Or it could be the case some external sites are linking to certain parts of your site and then Google follows those links. As I've said, the best practice is 
just triple make sure the sitemaps does not contain URLs that serves no index tag. If you're using Yoast, I'll show you where that setting is. I'll actually show you the setting in the individual post or page. If you're using Yoast, the gear icon gives you options, allow search engines to show this post in search results. If you select no, then Yoast plugin will remove that URL from the sitemap. If you want to control certain parts of a WordPress site and you're using Yoast, then let's imagine media or taxonomies. Let's say tags. You think to yourself, you know what? Tags, I don't want to have it in my sitemap. Then you can disable them. Or you may say, okay, archives don't really serve a great purpose on my website, then you can serve no index. If you use the general settings of Yoast, then it's going to serve no index to the section of your WordPress site. If you want to control individual posts or pages, then use the gear icon option and select no. And that's what excluded by no index tags means.